It begins with silence, a silence so vast you can almost hear space breathe. Then, at 3.17 a.m., somewhere over the Pacific, something flares against the darkness. A sensor aboard a U.S. early warning satellite catches it, a streak of light racing toward the edge of the atmosphere. Within seconds, alarms echo through the underground halls of Colorado Springs. NORAD screens shift from calm blue to pulsing red. Analysts lean in, tracing the impossible arc. The object isn't falling back into the Pacific. It's not skimming toward the Arctic. It's carving a path straight across the continental United States. The tracking software assigns a name, DF-61, China's newest intercontinental mystery. And in that single moment, reality bends. The balance that once kept the world stable just moved. China says it has fired an intercontinental ballistic missile into the Pacific Ocean. Now, this is Beijing's first such test in over 40 years. Something extraordinary just rolled through Beijing. An enormous missile labeled DF-61 that headlines call a dollar 1.5 trillion breakthrough able to outsmart every known defense. Is this the world's most advanced strategic system or simply a dazzling display? Today, we'll unpack what the DF-61 really is, how it emerged, and why experts say it could reshape global security conversations, even if much about it remains wrapped in secrecy. The world's first confirmed look at the DF-61 came during China's 2025 Victory Day Parade on September 3rd in Beijing. Among the hundreds of vehicles that crossed Tiananmen Square, this missile drew the most attention because it had never appeared publicly before. Official Chinese broadcasters framed it as a new generation deterrent platform, positioned on a 16 wheel transporter erector launcher, TEL, similar to that used for the DF 41 ICBM. Analysts from the Federation of American Scientists, FAS, and Arms Control today quickly noticed that resemblance. The launcher's proportions, axle spacing, and support hardware appeared almost identical, suggesting the DF. 61 might be an evolutionary upgrade rather than an entirely new design. The Size China Power Project observed that grouping the DF-61 alongside the DF-31BJ, JL-3 submarine missile, and H-6N air launch systems effectively showcased, for the first time, all three legs of China's nuclear triad in one public event. Western outlets such as Breaking Defense and Reuters confirmed that, while China's commentary emphasized breakthrough precision and survivability. No technical details, range, speed, or payload were disclosed. No launch footage, no state television testing clips, and no scientific papers referencing the DF-61 exist in open databases. On social media, exaggerated claims soon spread, some asserting Mach 55 velocity and even a 42,000-kilometer range, figures that physics alone make implausible for a solid-fuel missile. Experts interpret these numbers not as leaks, but as internet folklore born from awe at the parade imagery. By showcasing the DF-61 so publicly, yet revealing almost nothing about it, China created what strategists call deterrence by uncertainty. The missile's exact performance may be unknown, but the perception of advancement exerts influence all by itself. That is why the DF-61 reveal became the single most discussed moment of the entire parade. Within days, international headlines turned the DF-61 into an online sensation. Some videos labeled it a city-leveling superweapon worth $1.5 trillion. Let's test those claims against verifiable evidence. First, the $1.5 trillion figure. According to China's Ministry of Finance, the entire national defense budget for 2025 was approximately 1.72 trillion yuan is almost equal to roughly 240 billion US dollars. Even adding all modernization spending over several years, the totals remain far below the viral amount. Analysts from the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, CIPRI, confirm no single weapons program in history, anywhere, has approached a trillion dollar cost. The likely source is a misreading of a Chinese news headline referencing the country's overall defense modernization goal through 2035, not the DF-61 itself. Next, the Mach 55 and 42,000 km range myths. The fastest known reentry speeds for current intercontinental missiles reach about Mach 25 to 27, achieved during atmospheric reentry. 
Anything beyond that would require exotic propulsion exceeding present materials limits. The FAS and size both note there is no credible data to support Mach 50 plus velocities. Similarly, 42,000 kilometers is nearly the circumference of Earth, clearly a hyperbolic claim. Then there's the question of testing. No open source imagery of DF-61 test launches has surfaced from the Jiuquan, Taiyuan, or Wuzhai test centers, where China typically validates new systems. That absence implies the DF-61 could currently be a developmental mock-up, concept demonstrator, or a classified variant of the DF-41 awaiting operational trials. Why do these exaggerated numbers persist? Because they fit a pattern. Every time China reveals an unfamiliar platform, public speculation races ahead of evidence. It happened with the J-20 stealth jet in 2011, the DF-17 hypersonic missile in 2019, and now again with DF-61. Each cycle reflects the same mix of genuine progress and deliberate opacity. In reality, the excitement surrounding DF-61 tells us more about information psychology than about propulsion physics. When a government keeps details secret, imagination fills the gaps, and that imagination can amplify a symbol into something far larger than its metal parts. Even if the DF-61 specifications remain uncertain, its appearance marks a strategic turning point. Analysts agree that China's decision to parade this system publicly confirms two things. It now views transparency, not secrecy, as a strategic tool. It wants to demonstrate parity with long-established nuclear powers without expanding warhead numbers dramatically. Displaying DF-61 alongside JL-3 submarine missiles and the upcoming H-20 stealth aircraft effectively communicated that China has matured into a full triad power. That shift from regional to global strategic posture carries deep geopolitical implications. Technologically, road-mobile solid-fuel missiles like the DF-61 offer enhanced survivability. They can be dispersed and concealed, making a sudden disabling strike nearly impossible. Mobility also increases the credibility of a second strike capability, meaning a nation can respond even after sustaining losses. That resilience, rather than offensive potential, is what defines modern deterrence credibility. Moreover, showcasing DF-61 contributes to what experts term strategic signaling. Instead of issuing warnings, states use visual demonstrations to convey confidence and scientific progress. This tactic reduces misunderstanding. Rivals can see a system's existence rather than assume hidden escalation. In theory, that visibility supports stability through awareness. Each side knows the other has modern capabilities, discouraging miscalculation. At the same time, the reveal pushes others to accelerate technology development. The United States and its partners are already expanding early warning satellite networks, next-generation interceptors, and space-based sensors designed to track maneuverable reentry vehicles. The Kill Web concept mentioned by U.S. Pacific Command aims to integrate radars, drones, and satellites into a single adaptive defense ecosystem. To explore related breakthroughs in aerospace and space technology, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the stories shaping our future. Thanks for watching.